Hey kids and kitties, it's Lenny246 here, also known as Tomboy Gamer Excel. Before we get started with this delicious content, I wanted to update all my subscribers on what's going to be happening with this channel. Consider it a channel announcement, so to speak. So if you would like to skip past that and go ahead and enjoy some of that delicious speed paint content, go ahead and click the timestamp and go ahead and have fun. As for everyone else, sit back, relax, we're going to go over a few things real quick. Phew, looking back on it, this channel has been a really, really wild ride. It might be presumptive to say this kind of thing, but after reviewing all the content I had since 2008, this channel's probably an interesting mirror of all the crazy anime and video game trends that were going on during the time on YouTube. Eh, you never know. But enough recollection, this video is going to be a symbolic epilogue yielding a fresh chapter for this channel. So what does that mean? Let's just put this in layman's terms, shall we? This channel is now going to be an art channel. Yeah, I know, so surprising considering all the stuff that I've been doing, all the fanime crap. Yeah, but anyway, that's going to be the new direction for this channel. But why? Ever since I really got into drawing, illustrations, and everything, I've always wanted to create content like web shows and web comics, web animations, whatever, what have you, for a living and to make money off of that. It's always just been something I've really wanted to see executed, but I've never gotten around to because, you know, education is a bitch. But nonetheless, that's going to be my biggest desire, and I felt like there was no better time to do it now than any other time. I finally have honed my craft a bit, and I'm actually pretty proud of the art I make now. It's not the horrific weave infested crap I was making when I was a kid and that's honestly thank the gods for that right anyway play so now you have it but what does that mean in terms of what my content is well I'm gonna go over there's gonna be two parts to this really quickly there's gonna be the new content that you can expect and I'm gonna try to give you a rundown of what the format will be and how frequently you can expect that work then I'm gonna go over some of the older stuff I used to do and kind of well, explain to you whether or not it will stay, it will remain, whether I'm nixing it, hit, and how what you can expect from that. So strap on in, we're about to get started. First up, with the most consistent uh, content you'll be getting, is speed paints. Mm, I don't feel like I need to explain this one all too much. Other than simply, the speed paints will either have like uh, royalty-free music playing in the background that really sets the vibe for the art, or a narration or a, ta a discussion and usually pertaining to either the art itself or a topic regarding the art. Well, this will be your first taste of what my speed paints will end up being like. like. But forgive it, it's my first one in a really long time. You can expect speed paints probably once a month. I won't be doing them consistently in terms of every piece of art getting a speed paint, but the pieces I'm really proud of, I wanna show people, those are the ones you're gonna get. Next up in terms of content that is more consistent will be the season reviews. These are going to be a little bit of an experiment because they're mostly going to be uh, equitable to critiques. The season review will be a compilation of all the art I've composed that is visible on my Instagram, my Behance, and on the very rarest of occasions, DeviantArt or Tumblr. I'll post them all up on YouTube every season or every two seasons. So the format will either be four every year or just two for summer and spring and fall and winter. These videos will mostly be either, well, the same thing as a speed paint. Some, some lovely music in the background to really go, to really go and complement the time period. Or you most likely a narration in which I either critique or discuss my art, what I use to make it, any criticisms I have of it. It's ultimately going to be an opportunity for me to improve my work work and look back at it with a critical eye and perhaps even give advice or address any comments, answer criticisms or critiques that I got on the work. It's going to be a fun time, probably. A horrifying time in which I look at my art and literally scream about how horrible it is, but nonetheless, moving on. Yeah. This is going to be the one that is hardest to nail down in terms of concrete details, mainly because it's inherently dependent on participation from the fans and my subscribers, but nonetheless, I'll be calling this Discourse and Doodles. It's a glorified Q&A where in which I answer some questions while doodling a piece, random or otherwise. 
Anyways, these topics can range from just about anything. They can be someone asking me random crap about what I do in the day, what do I, what are my favorite colors, anime, video games, games, anything. It just expect stream of consciousness madness. These I can't really nail down in terms of how frequent these posts or how many you can expect during the year. But uh, it's highly dependent on what I get on my, from my uh, different fan communities from different websites. From some of them, I can on some years I'll, you'll probably get maybe three or four, like maybe seven videos of this, depending on how much commentary I'm getting from uh, viewers. Other times, you could probably expect maybe just two a year because I don't have much content or material to work with. But to try to ensure that you get at least one a year, even if the fan community isn't participating as frequently, I'm going to try to find something to discuss and doodle up for you guys. This probably will be more of a stream content when I nail down how to actually do streams properly without embarrassing myself. But nonetheless, look out for it. It's coming. The fourth piece of content that you can expect is animations. Now these can range from just one second little work in progresses where in which I do the very bare minimum in terms of animation, or a stick figure doing a motion, to elaborate shorts, whatever comes first. Think Kablam's little surprising shorts, because that's honestly what those are going to be. Unfortunately, I can't really guarantee a consistent post schedule on this either because it's kind of a let's just say animation me. Despite my love affair with it, it takes a lot of time for me to get animations done properly and be proud enough to display them to other people. So you could probably expect at least three of these a year, but these won't be coming in 2020. No, no, this will be in 2021 where you'll start to see a consistent one. Uh, again, this will probably be around the same thing as my speed paints. Maybe in 2021, I'm hoping to get at least one a month. But you never know. Depending on how much work I've got going for me, I might have to kind of cut that back. Heck. But I'm looking forward to this most of all. It'll probably be the most fun I have. If I can't get a full animation out, expect either a storyboard or a quick sketch up at the very least. And finally, the project that I'm most happy to unveil, which is Eden. Uh, with, I'm pretty sure you're all asking what the hell is Eden. But anyway, Eden is my little pet project. I've been coming up with it and conceptualizing it since high school, and I'm proud to start working on it and making those ideas become a reality with some actual art. Horrible art, but nonetheless. So what is Eden? Well, simply put, it's a web show that, I've been that I'm going to be working on. Eden will follow the story of a group of young adults, specifically protagonist Tsubami. It'll follow his day-to-day and how he's handling college, but specifically it will focus on <laughs> how he's dealing with the chaotic world filled with devas and cherubs, sin supernatural entities that wreak havoc on the day-to-day. -day. After noticing his friend Shinda acting strange after their high school graduation, he uncovers and joins an underground organization known as the Hearn, who seeks to uncover the truth regarding these entities and expel them permanently from the world. Yeah, that's a crappy summary. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm terrible when it comes to writing things. My ideas look so great when I'm not actually writing them down. Either way, this is a project that I expect to have a lot more content on. What kind of content will fare? It'll be from speed paints to concept, just posts about concept art, discussions of headcanons, animations, which are honestly the ones I'm looking most forward to, storyboards, and just the discussion about different aspects of the story, inspirations, just Eden content. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to have looking most forward to doing this. But a warning, Eden is still in its con conceptual stages. I'm still ironing out character designs, world building, plot, ideas, storylines. Uh, all of that is still being ironed out. But that's the thing. Even though Eden is in its infantry stages, it's going to be a lot of fun to sit down and work on this. And eh, it's a nugget of the idea, but you never know what it goes into in the future. Mm. So I'm hoping to follow the journey. But I know what everyone's really here to talk about. Let's discuss the old content. So like I said in the beginning, this was all. A lot of the content I used to make was just a kid fiddling around with a lot of random crap. From Sony Vegas to Windows Movie Maker, Paint to Paint.net, Saint Tool Sci, it was literally just me uncovering random crap on YouTube and going, you know what? Well, you know what's better than just one random fanime? 50 random fanimes that just pretty much sit there. Don't question me, it was a time. Anyway, well, after going through the content, I only found three real projects that really warrant updates. Anything else that's not covered, expect that it won't be happening. If you can ask, you can comment below if there's a question you have in particular, but don't expect anything. 
mentioning, if I didn't mention it, it probably was never a big deal to begin with. But let's start it off with the one that's most popular, the Pop of Girls V-Chats. I gotta admit, when I first started this, I was pretty determined that I was gonna end this and just say, yep, the last chat was the last chat. But you know what? Every, if When I sat back and looked back and actually analyzed my viewer base, it's actually kind of astounding the amount of people who've actually commented, favorited, subscribed just from the Pop of Girls Eat Chats. It's actually really weird when I sat back and thought about it. So when I was sitting down discussing and thinking about whether or not this would be the end or if I would just finally put that behind me, I got like three subscribers and a bunch of comments literally saying that they either enjoyed this stuff as children and they enjoy it now. Their kids, their teenage siblings are enjoying it. It, it. it was weird. It was literally like having a bunch of people just come up and say, you know what, this was really fun. I loved it as a kid. It's good nostalgia bait. But there's also the other people who were like, you know what, this is what I'm getting into now. I like Powerpuff Girl Z and I love these chats. It's so awesome. So even though I consider them cringe fests, people are still enjoying that. And you know what, gotta admit, it warms my heart. It really does. It's good to see stuff that was just such a comfort for myself to create are comforting and enjoyable to not just people who were growing up at the same time I was, but a whole new generation who's getting into Papa Fu the Mashita Papa Fu Girl Z. So, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and keep them going. I can't promise you that these Powerpuff Girls Z chats will literally be as consistent as they were when I was a kid, meaning like four or five videos every two, every two three months. But expect at the very least one a year. I still have actually a lot of scripts written up for the next one and even a detailed synopsis of the actual Golden Week saga. So I actually have plenty of material to work with with that, so expect something from that. I may very well put out something before the end of the year, but that's heavily dependent on whether schoolwork gets in the way. If not, expect one by the end of the year. If not, first thing next year in January, I'm going to try to pump out a Powerpuff Girls Eat Chat for you guys. I actually have one in the works, so keep an eye out. Next up on the agenda, Sakura Tokyo Mew. Um, this one was a hard one too, not gonna lie, because I was actually pretty certain that I wasn't proud of Sakura Tokyo Mew, but after sitting back, I actually did realize that I actually put more nuance into this. It was more than just Pearl Angel Scouts 2.0, which was, which if you know, good lord, thank you for staying with this channel. Sakura Tokyo Mew content will be limited but still existent. If you're expecting new episodes or like actual voice acting, don't. It, for obvious reasons, it's just not going to pan out that way. But as far as actual con like paintings, comics, probably little animated shorts, maybe even a transformation video, yeah, those are completely possible in the future. I don't want to kill Sakura Tokyo Mew. It probably was my first serious attempt at a fanime that actually managed to get not just actual people helping me draw episodes, transformations, scripts, de detailed plot, plot lines. All of that actually exists for that. That's probably what stopped it from being on the chopping block. Just simply the amount of work that went into it and despite how, <laughs> despite how the art looked, the ideas were still pretty good. It was honestly just a, it was initially just a Tokyo Mew Mew spinoff that just followed the kids. Shocker, it literally was everywhere back in the day. That if you wanted a fanime transformation, chances are it was going to be for to Tokyo Mew Mew. So, TLDR, Sakura Tokyo Mew content will still be a thing on this channel. It just won't be anything of the scale of episodes, which is something you can expect more from Eden. And finally, the Utau Vocaloid. So this one may seem like it's not that big a deal, but um, I feel like there needs to be one thing made clear. There were a lot of Utaus I had my hands in. The obvious is Kikuriyu, mine, that's actually my Utau, who's actually voiced by me. Meko Katane, voiced by my old childhood friend. Aki Gekko, voiced by one of, my, uh, one of the few YouTube friends I keep in contact with, Rocker Diva 102. Mary Hume, who was voiced by I, my cousin, but was owned by Miss Roxy Tricky Gloop, also known as Snow Lloyd. Don't know if that account is even still open. And Kosui Ongaku, another one of my online friends, Cutie Mia 112. Can you expect any content from any of them? Eh? 
I dare say yes. Kikoriu definitively is going to be the hardest one. To be honest, uh, her Oto I and I was terrible back when I was a kid. I barely knew how to work Utao, but I think I have a better grasp on it, and I will try to keep with that. I honestly don't want to get rid of her. I also noticed that I recorded a VCV, and it's not great, primarily because Kiku Ryu's first voice bank was recorded when I was 13. Her VCV was recorded when I was 18. It's not great, and not because it's terrible, it just sounds too different from Kiku. I'll probably, re -re I'll probably release it, but it will be noted that her VCV will be a soft voice bank instead of a powerhouse that was her old voice. As for the others, uh, Meko still explains, expects some content from her. I don't really talk with the old friend who voiced her, but nonetheless, I still have the voice bank. It's still well made. I'm just reworking the Oto.i and I. Aki and Kosui, I'm still friends with both of them, both of their creators, and they still have interest in making more content for that. And Mary Hume, I've reworked a couple times and she's actually sounding pretty good. So as far as what you can expect to see in terms of content first, well, I can't promise whether you'll get a cover of an older song or a fresh song, but expect both. If I do the cover first, it's probably going to be Black Rock Shooter for Kiku, her debut song. If not, I'll keep this surprise what song I'll do with Kiku. But, and that about wraps it up. And as far as Tsukum questions, I have heard people ask about whether I do commissions or Patreon. Not at the moment. Expect for those to come up sometime next year, but for now, not yet. I'm not yet ready for that. But that about wraps everything up. To everyone, all 400 of you who actually are subscribed to this channel and still actively look for content, I cannot thank you enough. This channel when I was a kid was really just a way to explore my interests. It really was just a way to have fun with anime and video games and go beyond that, making friends and all that shit. But you all made it special. You all could have watched anybody, and yet you watched, enjoyed, and followed my journey. And I really can't thank you enough. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all for sticking around for so long. It means the world to me. I hope that I get to see you all in this new chapter of my life and this new chapter of my channel. Lenny246 powers on, eh? Well, that's it, kids and kitties. Thank you for sitting through this. I hope to see you all in the future. And as I've said, thank you so much. Now on to this speed paint. Here we go.
Thank you.